In this illustration, we intend to calculate reaction force using the abacus software and analytical solution. In this picture, you can observe the model in which the length of beam AC is 25 inches and beam BCD is equal to 40 inches. Here, a linear load as much as 50 pounds per inch is applied to the beam AC. We will first calculate reaction force at point B using the analytical solution and following that calculate reaction force at point B using the abacus software and finally compare the results obtained from the abacus software with results of analytical solution. Actually, this problem has been selected from Mechanics of Materials book. Here, you can observe this problem by which we intend to calculate reaction force at point B. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on Create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the model. I will select the modeling space as three-dimensional from here, deformable, then wire and planner. Enter approximate size equal to 100 and continue. I will draw a vertical line. Here, the length of beam BCD is equal to 40 inches altogether. In the next step, I will draw a horizontal line right in the middle. The size of the beam AC length is equal to 25 inches. Done. I will enter property module. Click on create material. The type of the model is not important in this problem. So we suppose that the beam is made of steel. I will click on mechanical menu, select elasticity and elastic. The young modulus is equal to 29 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 pounds per square inches. The Poisson ratio is equal to a 0 0.8. Three. Okay. I will click on create section. Here select beam and the beam again and continue. I will click on create beam profile. Here select rectangular and continue. Here the size of the cross section would not have any effect on the results. So as a presupposition, I will consider the cross section of the beams one square with a length and width equal to one inch. Okay. I will click on assign section, select the whole of the model, done and okay. After that, I'll click on Assign Beam Orientation, select the whole of the model, Done, press the Enter button and OK. Here you can observe the model in a three-dimensional form. In the next step, I will enter assembly module. Click on create instance and OK. In the next step, I will enter step module. Click on create step. Here, select static general and continue. Here, the analysis will be done in linear form. Time period is equal to one second though it will have no importance here. OK. In the next step, I'll enter Load Module. Click on Create Boundary Condition. Here, select Initial Step. Then select Displacement Rotation and Continue. I will select this point. Done.
As you observe in the picture, point A is absolutely fixed. So here I will close the boundary conditions of displacement. Once again, I'll click on Create Boundary Condition. Select Displacement Rotation and continue. I will select these two points. Done. As it can be observed in this picture, pin supports have been used at points B and D. So, I will close the boundary conditions of U1, U2, and U3. And OK. In the next step, I'll click on Create Load. Select Step 1. Then select Line Load and continue. I will select this line. Done. As you observe here, a linear load as much as 50 pounds per inches will be applied to beam AC. In the next step, I will enter Mesh Module, click on Seed Part and enter Approximate Global Size equal to 0.5 inches and OK. Then click on Mesh Part and Yes. I will click on Assign Element Type, select the whole of Model, Done. Here the Element Family should be put on Beam, OK. I will enter job module here, I'll save the model. Uh, the analysis was done successfully, so I click on Result. Here you can observe the deformation of the model. Here, the purpose is to calculate reaction force at point B. Here, first, the problem would be solved using the analytical solution, then using the Abacus software, and finally the results gained from the Abacus software with results of the analytical solution. First, we should calculate the deflection of point C, at the beam AC. As you observe, a linear load as much as 50 p pounds per inches is applied to the beam AC. When this happens, it causes a concentrated load to be applied to the beam BCD. Here, RC stands for action force and reaction force between beam AC and the beam BCD.
When a linear load is applied to the beam AC, it causes a concentrated force to be applied to the beam BCD and its reaction force to be applied to the beam AC again. Here, the deflection of point C has been calculated for the beam AC. In the next step, deflection of the point C has been calculated for the beam BCD. Here, we know that the deflection of point C at the beam AC is equal to the deflection of point C at the beam, a at the beam BCD. Having these two relations, uh, being made it to each other, uh, RC uh, force would be resulted. Actually, as previously mentioned, RC is the action force and reaction force between the beams AC and BCD. In the next step, uh, we should calculate the reaction force at point B and if we write the moment about point D in relation, we would be able to calculate reaction force at point B. Here, reaction force at point B is equal to 186.6 pounds. Now, here we intend to calculate reaction force at point B using the Abacus software. I will click on Create XY Data select ODB field output and continue. I will select Unique Noda, then select RF3. Here, select this point and click on Save. Here you can observe the reaction force at point B having been obtained from the Abacus software. The reaction force at point B is equal to 186.67 pounds. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are so close to those of the analytical solution. Actually, the reaction force at point B gained from the analytical solution is equal to 186.6 pounds and the reaction force at point B having been obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 186.67 pounds. As you observe, in both cases, the results are extremely precise and correct.